Hello, everybody. Um, in this video, we are going to talk about one uh, good example of using the local functions. And we will see in, in the actual case how it saves time and makes the file more organized and easy to check uh, in case you have any errors or something like that. So this file, we have been uh, working with this before. Uh, it's, um, uh, we use this file to calculate the uh, bubble point and dew points of a mixture of benzene and toluene. And uh, we use this, um, the for loop in this case, uh, to um, plot the, the uh, bubble points and dew points over the range of mole fractions from 0 to 1. So we, ca we were able to get the, uh, the visagram of benzene and toluene. And we were able to get more uh, smooth curve in case of uh, decreasing the, the increments. So we have very close points, um, and, and the curve will look, will look nicer. Anyway, so uh, what we did, just a quick revi revision of what we did, it, we, we just started with the initial, uh, with the, the pressure, and then the Antoine constants of benzene and toluene, and then we calculated the vapor pressure um, and the K values at this uh, pressure, um, as, uh, or, or we didn't calculate them, we put them at, as function handles, so we can use them in the iterations, and then we started with the looping, so we, um, uh, we put the values of X, uh, benzene, and xylene, uh, or toluene. I'm, I'm, I'm not sure it was xylene or toluene. Anyway, so um, we, we, uh, we here put the values of, uh, of X uh, that we will use in the iterations of benzene and xylene. And then we um, calculated the Ys and the X based on the values that we assumed here and the temperature that we should uh, we should have. And then we get the some X and some Y, and we uh, ask MATLAB to do the uh, uh, iterative uh, solution so we can get the temperature that satisfies this sum to make it equal one or the sum minus one equal to zero. Um, and then we plotted the uh, everything. But what we, uh, if, if you recall, what we uh, spent some time uh, doing and we were trying to make sure that we didn't, we don't do any mistakes in is that um, when we uh, calculated a, a function handle or, or wrote a function handle as a function of another function handle, we had to make sure that each one of these parameters is um, followed by the T between brackets um, because this is calculated from here. Um, and the same here, k is calculated from, or, or yy is calculated from k, and the xx calculated from k, and the sum is calculated from xx, which is calculated. So, so it was kind of tedious to keep going with having these brackets all, all the time, and in, in some cases you you definitely forget the, to put these brackets. Uh, the second thing is that the file is not... Um, it, it's it's kind of organized, but it, it can be more organized if we use the the local function. So the first thing I would do is um, to have these function handles that are calculated from other function handles uh, put down um, at the end of the file as as sub functions. And we have we have here the 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 functions that we use to do the iterations are some x and some y. So there are two functions that we uh, are going to use as function handle. Before everything, I would turn this into function as we said in the previous video, um, and we call it t bubble t dew mixture um, and end. Uh, we need to just make it more uh, nicer to look. So we have here the for loop, and at the end, I would have. Um, the sub functions. So this is function. I would call the first function. Um, it is sum y, which is this. But I have an output which is f, for instance, sum y of t. And I would I would take everything. I have here the these two lines. Um, I put them here. And you see, he 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 understands that these are the parameters that we are using. Um, or, or that that are there in in, in the uh, in the original file. Um, I would take this as y y and the sum y. So as you see, I'm 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 not writing anything new. I'm just making it more organized. And and one thing that we need to keep in mind is that we are we, we do not need to use these anymore. 
um, so you don't have to put them as a function handle because this this is a function actually so you don't have to put it as a function handle uh, you don't need to put it as a function of t because he knows that it is a function of t already um, and this doesn't have to be put as a function of t so you know it's it's now easier to write you you, you just write the parameters you don't need to worry about anything um, so uh, this is everything now now we would go to the second case where we would write the function uh, the second function which is gonna be some x I make it g equals um, some x of t and I would do the same thing use the vapor pressure <coughs> and take this x x on some x as they are put it here of course we don't need this we don't need this and this is not a function handle anymore just a normal line in the script <coughs> and in um, so we should now be good to go I, I just want to make sure that I don't have any of the things that are kind of residual things left behind <coughs> um, these are done now they are down there in the function handles <coughs> and now we should we should be fine uh, but if I run the file there we should we should find a mistake and actually this mistake or, or this error is because um, it says mm, it's in line 37 um, I think this is not the problem that I mean so the problem that I mean is that, is that the output of the function should be the same name here so this is f so you should have this as f oh, and this is some y I did a mistake and this is oops no it's some uh, and this has to be g as well so this g is the same as this g um, but I think there is something else that is not right. He says it's error in line 37. There is not enough input arguments, so it is exponential of a residual. So it should be right. Oh, <coughs> I'm sorry. The 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 second thing is that this should be at some x, and this is at some y. Um, because it, it, it's not a normal function handle so either you, you put the at in, in the function handle so you don't put it here or put it here because it's not a function handle so if you run the file it is now uh, good to go so um, it if, if, if you take a look at the file now you'd see that it is way more organized than it, it used to be before the for loop is, is already uh, something that it kind of confuses people when they work with so uh, we don't have a lot of things put in the function hand or on in the for loop now you just have the 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 minimum steps that you have to include in there which are just the calculating the value of x and uh, calculating the bubble and dew points uh, all the related things about the the functions is is now in the bottom and in case you have uh, any issues with the function handle as it said before it's gonna tell you it's in the line 37 line 38 whatever which is which is gonna be a specific place for a specific thing instead of, of going around the file and finding where uh, where this problem is one last thing we can add and make the file even more easier is that you would notice that we have here these two lines are um, present here and here and this these are functions that do specific thing and you can um, you can save more more space uh, by uh, making a local function that calculates these two lines. So I'm 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 gonna take them here, um, from here again, and delete them from here, and add one more function. Um, and this function I'm gonna call it O. For instance, it's equal to k of t and i'll put these two guys here so it calculates the uh, the exponential uh, which is the vapor pressure using the antoine equation and calculate the vapor pressure using this and now you can relate the, calculate the k from from this equation you see now he understands that this 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 are the same thing so this k should be this but 
uh, you have to notice or, or keep in mind that now you are calculating the k from another function. So it's not the same function. So you have to put the brackets here. Okay, so this this is the case uh, because it th the, 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 these two lines are not in the same function or subfunction. So you are calculating uh, uh, so something in a function based on another uh, parameter in another subfunction. So you have to or using another subfunction. So you have to use this at t. So when you run the file, it is working great. You have no problems with it. And now it is even more organized. You have this just calculate the um, the k values, this calculates the sum of, of y and this calculates the sum of x and everything reflects here in the um, in the for loop and in the plot. So um, I hope this, this example makes life easier and more, more clear for you now how the subfunctions can be used and how they can make the file more organized and how they make life easier. So um, I hope this helps and I'll see you in the next video. Inshallah.